The IPD kit can be purchased individually, meaning just the ratchet. As a kit, it is extremely advantageous, as it comes with the ratchet along with a whole series of tips and screwdrivers for working on different implant techniques. So we will have the hexagonal tips, the cutting tips, the torx tips, and the star tips. We will have the opportunity to truly have an indispensable kit, especially for those patients who arrive with implants placed in other practices rather than those placed in the clinic. So, we don't even know which ratchet to use as a reference. Let's take a look at the ratchet itself, specifically what the tool is, how it should be used, and what its features are. Here is one thing we see. We have a spring ratchet where the preload is given by the compression of the spring itself. So when I go to tighten the reference line, it shifts and I have the possibility to reach, in this case, 20 Newton. Here I am at 20. So at this moment, the ratchet exerts a force, a torque. When I go to open it, it clicks at 20 Newton. If I want to work at 25 Newton, I will move to the intermediate notch. Here it is. I see it here. So at this moment, I am between 20 and 30, exactly at the 25 notch. At this moment, my ratchet exerts a tightening torque of 25 Newton. It is always advisable when we put the ratchet away to decompress it. So unscrew the spring almost completely and go into decompression. Right now, we are really working under 10 Newton. We will be at 5, 4, 3 Newton of torque. In this way, we leave the spring decompressed as soon as it is placed down to avoid seeing the spring unwinding. However, it is just placed down to prevent it from coming apart during sterilization and storage in the warehouse. How do we insert the tips? Let's take any screwdriver. Right now, we will take a cutting screwdriver. We have two entrances. This one is the wrong one and this one is the correct one. So I will insert the tip into its socket till it clicks. Here we see that the click tip has reached the end. At this moment, my ratchet is working. To screw. If I want to make it work for unscrewing, I will exclusively extract the hexagonal part. So, I push with my finger on this portion here, extract the pin, which is the insert turn the ratchet and insert my hexagon. At this moment, I am working in the opposite direction. So if it was screwing on one side, it is unscrewing on the other. I do not completely extract the pole, which is this. This is the gear. If I disassemble the entire gear, it is because I want to perform maintenance and cleaning. I can use the entire gear as a handle to avoid unscrewing my through screws, but not to change the direction of work. Therefore, the two side flaps are needed to disassemble the gear. At this moment, it is coupled, so it does not move. If I want to turn and go in the opposite direction, at this moment I am screwing in. I want to go out, unscrew, out. I extract the hexagon. So I applied pressure while extracting the hexagon, turn the ratchet to out, and insert the hexagon to out. At this point, he works in the opposite direction. This is the PD ratchet. I want to change the tip. I pull, and I remove the tip. The most wrong thing is to disassemble the gear and try to make it do this job, because it doesn't fit. Do you see that it doesn't fit? The gear has a single direction, a single insertion line, which is this. After that, I turn the direction of rotation. By applying pressure on the hexagonal tip inside, I extract only the hexagon, turn the ratchet, and reinsert the hexagon. It is very simple. Please remember to clean it. Occasionally, disassemble it completely, and clean it internally as well because it is 
a measuring tool. And like all measuring tools, it needs to be handled with precision. This is the kit. Otherwise, Ratchet 5.